to on now Hurricane Ida, major implications and changes to the track and intensity guidance for the system, and it is not looking good for the residents of Louisiana along with myself. Taking a look at the satellite imagery for the storm, not it is looking quite impressive. You can see that convective burst right around the center of the storm. Sometimes that will not indicate intensity intensification if it occurs in bubbly areas all around the storm. But as you can see, this is very concentrated right around the center. Although it will be hitting Cuba in the near future, so Cuba also watch out for this storm as you will be getting hurricane impacts very, very shortly. Taking a look back at the NHC intensity guidance, you can see that they are now predicting a major hurricane of 140 miles per hour, which is a upper to middle end category 4 hurricane. This is nothing to scoff at. This is not time to think. There is no longer time to think about what you are going to do. You need to decide now and take action based on your plan, whether you evacuate whether you stick out the storm, you need to start bringing stuff inside, make sure all your pets and plants are safe and okay, and most importantly, make sure you are okay during the system. Prepare with food, water, flashlights, anything like that. This is a storm that really needs to be watched for the metropolitan New Orleans and basically the entirety of southeastern Louisiana, even in the Mississippi and other portions of Louisiana, especially the low-lying New Orleans. Potential storm surge, you can see that there is up to 15 feet of storm surge in this region, mostly right here, but it could spread all the way down from, from Morgan City to the mouth of the Mississippi River. And then even, you see in this little canal, or Lake Bourne, that you could be seeing up to 11 feet of storm surge. And even in Vermilion Bay, you could be seeing up to 9 feet and even f as far inland as Lake Moripal, you could see being seeing five feet, or even for a lot of like Pontchartrain's northern shore, up to seven feet of storm surge for that Mandeville Covington area. Well, not Covington, but Mandeville Slidell, that whole area could be seeing a very high influx of storm surge. Even as far out as Mobile Bay, seeing storm surge, and all the way out to the Sabine Pass, although not nearly as much as these other regions. Model intense model track guidance you can see has become very one sided. They've basically got down packed where the storm is going. There's only four models that take it other places. These three that take it a bit farther west and more towards central Louisiana, and then this one outlier which will, is the least likely option of all of these that takes it out to the Mississippi coast. Although that is basically out of the picture at this point. Me and the NHC's prediction side by side. As you can see, I am predicting a 150 mile per hour storm. This is getting very close to Cap 5, although you should prepare for a Cap 5. Despite this likely not being a Category 5 in the end, the storm will bring near Category 5 impacts, and really one of the only differences between the two is the number on the screen. So basically, just prepare for a Category 5. This is a very dangerous system and not anything to be taken lightly. Please do prepare, and if you are in a low-lying area, prepare your house as best as you can, and please, I urge you to evacuate. This is a storm. This I'm going to use something that the people on the news said last year for Laura. I heard it because I live in that area, kind of-ish. I live in Louisiana. And they said... If you are staying, it is almost like suicide. And that is essentially what it is. If you are right on the coast with the storm, it is essentially suicide if you are staying. This storm is a very dangerous storm. I've said this countless times, but I'd like to reiterate it even more. This storm is very dangerous and nothing to be taken lightly at all. I do urge you to evacuate. Especially looking at this, the model intensity guidance... At this point, there is now only one model not showing a major hurricane, and this is a complete outlier, and it has this weird little dip down before, and that is the main reason why, and it's one of those that take it out on a weird track. The majority of the rest, other than three, which still show a Category 3, which is still a very, very dangerous storm, 
the rest show a Category 4, and even this one showing a 155 mile per hour Category 4, which is basically Category 5. We have other ones like the HWFI showing all the way up to a 150 mile per hour storm, which is what I am currently predicting. But regardless of this becoming a 150 miles per hour, 130, 140, whatever this storm becomes, it will be very bad, and I do urge you to evacuate from the system, and if not, take the best of precautions. Be prepared to have to go on top of your roof if you live right on the coast in that 10 to 15 storm surge region. Be prepared. Be prepared, you will likely lose power, keep a generator, just have candles, flashlights, lots of canned foods, bottles, bottled water, water purifiers so you can use the water around you if you run out. This is a very devastating situation and really should not be taken lightly at any given situation. Even if you aren't expecting as much impacts, the storm could shift, strengthen even more than expected. It is just a very dangerous situation overall for the entirety of southern Louisiana. Taking a look at the potential dim damage index, and you can see that we have an 8 on the surge, 8 on the rainfall, a 9 on the winds, and a 6 on the speed. I mean a 7 on the speed. This is the highest rating I believe that I've given to a storm that is actually going to inevitably make this impact i did get a little outlandish on delta last year but that was last year i've gotten quite a bit better at least in my opinion since then and i believe the storm will make a very devastating landfall as a mid to upper category four hurricane nhc even saying 140 miles per hour at this point so we could be seeing up to 20 inches of rain in actually a large area in southern louisiana just east and even getting into the western portions of New Orleans with those 15 to 20 inches of rain up to 15 feet of storm surge that would be a very devastating and like I said previously I heard this on the news if you stay it is almost like suicide and it's it's not a great situation it I hate to bring up this analog. I know some people have been asking about it, but I don't think this will be Katrina level. The levees have gotten a lot better around southeastern Louisiana, but this is still a very dangerous storm. It will likely be making landfall at a higher intensity than Katrina did. Katrina was a different type of storm, but regardless, this storm will be a very bad storm and could almost be comparable to Hurricane Laura. I'd ar even argue that this could be even worse as this is going to hit a more populated and low-lying area than Hurricane Laura did of last year. Thank you guys for watching this update. Please stay safe. If you want more up-to-date updates, please like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And even if you don't check updates on my channel, please go check them out on other channels if you are in the direct path of the storm. This is a very serious situation, and thank you guys for watching. Be safe out there.